Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here, and welcome back to another uh, episode of our Let's Build Pearl Harbor. This is episode three of our series, and we're going to go ahead and continue to work on Ford Island, as well as kind of cleaning up and adding some additions to uh, some of the areas that we've already touched upon in the previous two episodes. Now, there was a little bit of a break um, in terms of this episode. This episode should have been coming out last Friday, but as many of you probably know, Starfield came out, and I've been kind of completely addicted, so I really haven't touched Minecraft until yesterday evening. And then also, last uh, this past weekend, I had my first guard duty, so I was basically gone there um you know all weekend and really didn't have time or really the motivation to record or try to work on anything so um that is why this video is coming out a little bit later but i do hope to have a, another episode coming out friday um as planned so uh we should kind of get back on track here pretty soon now this episode we didn't get a whole too much done but realistically when it comes down to it you're you were really looking at about, you know, four hours of building time um, in that time lapse. So a lot got done, but a lot didn't at the same time for the amount of time I spent. And that's mainly because I'm trying to get these buildings as perfect as possible. And a lot of this has just been kind of playing around and making sure things are sitting right. As well as some of these buildings don't actually have any real reference for them. And there's very hard to find pictures of you know, what these buildings actually look like. Luckily, some of the hangars we did work on and the ATC tower were actually, uh, are actually still standing to this day. So that was really cool. I was able to use Google images for that. But again, some buildings just aren't there anymore. And so we kind of have to work with these, um, you know, really bad zoomed out black and white pictures. Uh, but with that, uh, we'll go ahead and jump in here to take a look at what we have going on. And we'll first focus our attention here on Fort Island. Now, the next episode is for sure priority. Get this seaplane base done. I am tired of looking at this empty space here. Uh, realistically, we just have one hangar left and we have to add some aircraft. So it really shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, but that is a huge priority and something that I am going to tackle in the next episode because I want this whole western side of Fort Island completely done. Um, so that is the goal. And that is what I'm going to be striving for to get done in the next episode. Uh, but with that, we do have another hangar that was added in. Uh, again, this is more likely for the seaplane base. Um, this hangar is actually still standing to this day, so uh, really nice to build it. A uh, lot of good reference, so I think it's pretty pretty good and pretty accurate to what it would have been. I also went ahead and threw in the water tower, um, which was um, you know present in this location here on the island. And then we have a couple of uh, probably machine shops, maybe, you know, uh, aircraft squadron headquarters, stuff like that. Who knows? I'm um, just kind of going off my general on how I know bases are set up today, uh, but most likely some kind of mechanical workshops for sure, uh, located kind of behind these hangars and mixed in, in in between them. We have another one of these hangars. This one is still staying today. I think this is actually the Pearl Harbor Air and Space Museum, if I remember correctly. Um, and they have like this area now that's just concrete off and have aircraft that sit here. Um, so that's the hangar is again one of those that's still standing to this day. We have another little uh, building here. Again, this one no longer standing, um, but it um, is something like that in <laughs> what it looked like. Uh, then we have another hangar. Again, this one is also standing, and this one here is more of a hangar for uh, would be our naval uh, airstrip. So you can see we did some work on here on this, um, getting more of the uh, tarmac set up. I also went ahead and kind of made the uh, Made the made this a little bit short, not shorter is the word I'm looking for, but a little bit more slimmer, um, and bringing a little bit more on the inside cut in this area up a little bit and adding more grass and a little bit more space for us to have these concrete pads that the aircraft would sit on. I'm probably also going to be adjusting the other side here as well, um, especially since we're going to be having hangars in this area and um, you know aircraft and another big maintenance area on this side. So that's something that's also going to be getting um, updated when we get around to the other side. Now, after that, we do have the uh, Pearl Harbor uh, or the Fort Island uh, ATC Tower. And now this was not completed at, during the time of the attack on Pearl Harbor. It was under construction. However, I think it's a very iconic tower and something that I want to have on the island just to, just to look good. It really breaks up the height of the buildings and everything, as you can see. And it just really stands out and looks cool. So that is why it's included. It's not 100% accurate to how it would have been on the day of the attack, but... Um, I don't really think it's that big of a deal that's going to take away from the overall uh, imaging. We also added in some more of these, uh, again, just kind of general small buildings um, located, you know, in here again, probably just some machine shops and stuff. Uh, we then have this area that finally connects our fuel uh, depot to uh, the administrative area of Fort Island. 
And this year, again, we just have some random kind of fuel, oil storage, and then some warehouses in between, and the road just kind of connecting everything together. Uh, again, this area is kind of hard to figure out exactly what had been present, as it seems to have really changed after the attack on Pearl Harbor, and there really isn't any good pictures of it during that uh, time period when it was actually attacked or around it. Most of the pictures are probably about maybe close to a year after, um, and there's just a bunch of different stuff, building new buildings, you know, uh, tearing, tearing down stuff, just all kinds of salvaging uh, operations going on still for ships so uh, just a big kind of mix of just random junk and so I just left it clean for uh, what it is um, so that's pretty much it for that and that's kind of everything that was like new added into the administrative slash air fueled section of Ford Island uh, when it comes back to the areas that we've already built up but never really finished I went ahead and added in another hangar here um, next to this one so this is actually more realistic to how it would have looked right here a couple warehouses we also have this uh kind of nave or a little pier or not really a pier but like a little dock um that's right here right on the water um has a little you know boathouse or something and then we have a uh seaplane tender crane barge uh which was ysd19 um it was also known officially as the ysd11 class of seaplane kind of tender barges or cranes uh these ships were actually used quite a bit uh for the salvage operations of pearl harbor and even uh, were used for, you know, fighting fires and all that stuff. So they were played a big important part of actually getting Pearl Harbor back and running and getting a lot of the ships back and running as well. Um, but yeah, just kind of a cool little auxiliary ship that was uh, fun to throw in here and all that. I also went ahead and added two of these floating um, barracks that were present as well right behind USS California. Again, just right on the beach and sitting there nicely. Then we have the ferry terminals that uh, weren't present before, but now I went ahead and added them in. Uh, this again based off of the uh, you know real light or the actual still standing ferry terminals. They're no longer used for my uh, knowledge, but they um, you know are still sitting there where they were before. Um, so we have those two ferry terminals put in, and they're right behind USS California. And then as we go over this way, we do have USS Neosho, uh, the uh, Samarin uh, class oil tanker that has been added into where her. Um, where she was uh, sitting during the attack. Uh, realistically, she would have been sitting at probably about a 45 degree angle in this space, but unfortunately, just due to Minecraft and the skill of these ships, rotating the ship at a 45 degree angle just looks absolutely uh, ridiculous. So I went ahead and just decided to take some creative liberties and not do that. So it does sit straight on. It does look kind of strange, I think, but honestly, it's the best I can do, unfortunately, for the skill. And just one of those things that you have to sacrifice when doing a miniature scale Pearl Harbor such as this one. Uh, but yeah, that's the Neo show. So we finally have Bathtub Row um, or all the ships that were in the vicinity here um, completely added in and finished. Um, I did also go back to USS Nevada and I did add another one of those little floating barracks uh, type of buildings or barges right here next to the ship on the inside. Um, which was present, and I believe there is another one of those little auxiliary ships that are located right here. I think it's a little bit different. I haven't yet um, haven't yet uh, built it or done the research into it because a lot of those are very hard to find reference for, um, but that is uh, also going to be going on this side here of uh, Nevada to add on to it. So um, that's something we'll probably see in the next episode added on as well to finally get that all done. Uh, but as for overall um, work on the world that I didn't cover in the time lapse, uh, some of the stuff has been done over here in terms of getting some of these uh, the shipyard uh, bays set up and um, all that. This is, again, very big thanks to my buddy ESG, who even though I've been out playing Starfield, he's been on the world uh, doing a little bit of work that I didn't even know about and I didn't even know until I came on here and saw him actually uh, working. So uh, he's been setting up some of the shipyards. He even brought some of the older BAFTA builds over to fill in these spots. Now, I don't think these ships are going to stay. I'm probably going to end up building new models for them. Uh, but you can just kind of get a general idea of, uh, you know, just some of the ships that are going to be going in this area, what it's going to kind of look like. So, uh, so far coming together pretty good. And then we also have, um, you know, all the water that's been filled in here for uh, the submarine uh, base that's going to be over here so uh, a lot of good work going on with the world um, just kind of ever continuing to expand and get it built up um, I think it's coming together really well and hopefully we'll have Ford Island done here pretty soon and we can start focusing in on our uh, shipyard and getting that area set up as well 
Um, but yeah, things are going really well for it so far. I'm very excited with the progress and we're continuing to, you know, knock it out. I am looking at the possibility of actually extending our map a little bit. Um, so kind of including a little bit more of the channel, uh, because hospital point is actually not going to fit in here. And I think hospital point is something important that we should include. So that is probably going to be something we're going to be, um, touching on as well. Um, in terms of expanding the map a little bit. But um, so far, the main focus here, obviously, just get the main military sections built up, and we're doing a good job at it so far. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this update video uh, for Pearl Harbor. And uh, with that, I'll hopefully see you guys this next upcoming Friday for what will be part number four, and we'll continue to work on our Ford Island and hopefully get some more ships and stuff added in as well. With that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel 204, and I will see you guys next time.